So look at this question, guys. Uh, this question has got some uh, good concepts actually. Okay, look at this. So find the product of all the values of three raised to x plus two such that the values of x satisfying the following equation: log of eighteen minus three raised to x base three is equal to three minus x. Okay. So fine. So this is this part is quite important, guys. Okay, find the product of all the values of three raised to x plus two. That way, in this question, I don't need to calculate the value of x. So all of you. Uh, if you have tried this question, right? So you should must be cal trying to calculate the value of x here. We don't need to calculate that, right? Now let's see see this. Okay, just use the property of log, guys. So you can actually observe that. Okay, so we know this property of log, like log of uh, b base a is equal to x. Then b is equal to what? A raised to x. That's why definition of log only, है ना? So basically, if I write this here, so 18 minus 3 raised to x is equal to uh, 3 raised to 3 minus x. Okay, if I further solve it. I'll get like eighteen minus three raised to x is equal to three cube by three raised to x. I can see a couple of three raised to x here, so I can just assume that let's say three raised to x is equal to t. If I assume let's say three raised to x, I assume it as t, right? So I can write this. I I can rewrite this equation as eighteen minus t is equal to twenty seven by t, right? If I solve it, I'll get the value as t square. Minus eighteen t, uh, t square minus eighteen t plus twenty seven is equal to zero, right? Now, if you look at the square root here, right? So basically, in this question, if I if I find if I want to find the value of like product of all the values of three to x plus two, so basically if you if you observe that, right? So if if I remove plus two for time being, okay, if I just think this as only three raised to x. That means I need to find find only value of t, right? Let's think like that. Had the question been, had the question been, find the value of find the uh, product of all the values of the of only three raised to x. That means I I was supposed to find the uh, product of all the values of t only. And what is t actually? What is t? T is t is what t is the root of this equation, right? T is the root of this equation, right? So basically, it's a quadratic equation. So I have two roots here, है ना? So quality so I have two roots here, and basically I can also check that in this equation we have like uh, it's d is greater than equal to zero, है ना? B square minus four ac is right. That's eighteen square minus four into twenty seven is positive. That is more than zero, right? If d is positive, that means it's both the roots are real. Okay. So once it's both the roots are real, so what I can actually think here is okay in that case. So I was telling, they are telling that had the question been find the product of all the values of three raised to x only. That's it, not plus two. Then that means I was supposed to find the product of all the values of t. That means product of all the roots of the equation. And I know that in any quadratic equation, in any quadratic equation, alpha into beta is what it is c by a. So product of the roots is what c by a. Then the answer would have been what? Answer would have been Twenty-seven, correct, right? That means I was not I was not supposed to find the value of x in this, right? Similarly, similarly, if I can think of here for this situation, right? If I can think of here that I need to find the uh, product of all the values of three to x plus two. So let's say uh, I have two roots in this in this case, right? Let's say alpha and beta. So if my roots are alpha and beta, so I need to find the value of what alpha plus two into beta plus two. Okay. So once I need to find the value of alpha plus two and beta plus two, so what is my equation? My equation will be like alpha into beta plus twice of alpha plus beta plus four. Correct. So alpha into beta plus twice of alpha plus beta plus four. Okay. Now basically, uh, in this case, now I'm trying to get the value of uh, alpha, beta, and alpha plus beta. So I know what is the value, right? Alpha into beta is what? That is the product of the root. That is twenty-seven. What is alpha plus beta here? So alpha plus beta will be basically alpha plus beta is what? That is sum of roots minus b by a. That is eighteen by one. That is eighteen, right? So basically this is eighteen. So can I write that alpha into beta is twenty seven plus twice into eighteen plus four? And now what is the answer? My answer is sixty seven. So sixty seven is the answer for this question, right? So it's a very nice question, okay? So I uh, saw a lot of people getting stuck in this question, right? So I thought I'll discuss this. So superb question. So basically, three raised to x I need to find here. 
uh, product of all the roots of 3 raised to x plus 2 that means 3 raised to x is what in terms of t it is the root of the equation right so i need to find the uh, both the roots right product of all the both the roots plus 2 that means alpha plus 2 into beta plus 2 where alpha and beta are the roots of this equation okay now let's solve one more good question guys okay And also, also this combat guys, okay, so this uh, combat, uh, you know, it's a very good test series, it contains some good high quality questions, okay, so their easy questions are, are not asked here, so it basically, it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts, okay, and uh, uh, this, from this Sunday onwards, it is in basically revised format, so basically we are mo moving closer to CAT right now, so in January, February and March, we were like, Away, uh, we are around 8 to 10 months away from CAT so the questions we put off may be some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the LRDA sets also um, this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get, you get, get, you get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer, the better your the better your rank is, right? You get more points. So actually, the, those one hour test is a fun. And actually, if you look at the cat, you should give uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before cat, okay? And this is one of your high quality tests, absolutely free of cost. And uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding, but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this, I think, okay? So rank one, two, three, one year subscription, I think around twenty thousand or 75% scholarship or 50% so, so, so great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put the uh, link here I'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here Ravi Roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay ask you for invite code put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description just enroll from there okay and do give this every Sunday do give this at 12 p.m. it's on every Sunday okay so every Sunday Give this on 12 p.m. Thank you.